expo is an exhibition of student learning. So this is a time that they get to showcase something that they have done that they have taken great pride in. Some of these students have worked on these projects extensively for the whole first semester. Um, some of these projects are simply maybe a subject in a class that they learned about that they were very interested in, so they developed a presentation. We have an um, aerospace aviation project. We have two parts to it, a wind tunnel and a hot air balloon. Um, the wind tunnel part, we were required to build an airfoil, two different types, the symmetrical and asymmetrical airfoil. And to test this out, we actually built our own wind tunnels from, completely from scratch and tested out our efficiency of our airfoils. When I heard that this innovative STEM school was going to be um, in Elizabeth City, I was definitely drawn to it. Science education, math education, these are the skills that every child needs to be able to think critically. At this school, they push you to drive and do your best. Like for now, I'm taking all college courses. I do not have a single high school course. And that's because I understand the material and I'm ready, I'm ready to challenge myself, which is why I like the school. We began with 120 students and now we have about uh, 350 from eight counties here in North Carolina. Our students have tremendous voice and choice. We pride ourselves on that. They have shaped everything from the school mascot and the logo to the policies to the master schedule um, we use. We try to help students see the connections between content areas. It's nothing to have students in a classroom and to kind of question, is this a math class? Is this an English class? Um, because the world really is not segmented in that way. So we want to make sure we're preparing students for, for that world. We're teaching in an innovative way and it's working. Our students are so engaged in every single thing that you see here in this school. They're, they're involved. They pick, uh, they have a voice all the way through here. 